Arena 4D plugin for SolidWorks point clouds. So select the point clouds tab from the Arena 4D icon and there's various functions. Let's add, remove, there's some functions here for drawing and alignment and they will be dealt with in a separate video. For now we're going to add a point cloud so select point cloud, select it and select open. You can move the point cloud using the SolidWorks tools. If the point cloud was not displayed, for example, possibly off the side of the screen, you can select the point cloud you loaded in blue. And there's a zoom option. And there we go. Point cloud is then centered. With the point cloud selected in blue, or point clouds, you can have more than one point cloud loaded here. You can fill this list entirely, it's unlimited. You can change the quality of the point cloud. Default is around 30. The point size, the size of the individual points. The render, which can be intensity. Obviously, if the point cloud supports that. Ramp and color, if the point cloud has color information. Filling, so I just get closer here turn filling on it makes the point cloud look more solid we we'll just look at this area here it just makes the point cloud look more solid then we have ratio which affects the filling option change but that's only if filling is turned on opacity uh, generates some transparency in the point cloud so if I put quality to 100 so important to put the quality to max. Now if I pull the opacity down, um, you can see that the point cloud now has transparency applied. So we're going to put that back to 100. We'll leave the quality for now, 100. Contrast and brightness. Um, speak for themselves really if the point cloud doesn't seem to have the brightness etc you wish you can change that here if you had point clouds scanned on separate days and um, one was overcast one wasn't you could change the brightness and the contrast of whichever point cloud to try and balance them out for better viewing etc XYZ allows you to type in and it will position the point cloud relative to those coordinates and the scale will change the scale. So if the point cloud was actually uh, converted incorrectly, you could change the scale here to reflect the size of the point cloud. The alignment options here, and I say the drawing options here are dealt with in a separate video.